Bizarre Vlog 15. How's everybody going? Don't worry, this is just CBD. Don't worry. Y'all know Gronkowski got a new CBD business out? I'm so excited personally because I love Gronkowski and he got a CBD business out. That's good. So we're gonna take a puff for Gronkowski and his CBD business. Taking a puff of The CBD I have is TKO by T Turk Nation. It's called TKO. It's a hybrid. Seven grams. Get you out the dough for twenty nine dollars. It was seven grams in here. Hey. So we're gonna take this puff of the TKO for Grand Castle. <laughs> Touchdown! Today I'm gonna get my phone screen, my phone battery fixed, and then I'm going to go get a haircut. I'm chopping off like this much of it. I want to be like, you know, it's still gonna look like, you know, a military type haircut. And it's symmetrical. And let me get a tape line, because my tape line was kind of fucked up. So when I come back, I should be looking a little bit better. So I just got back from getting my hair cut. Bam, check out your boy. Ooh, wee. So, now that I'm back, went to the CBD, uh, the fucking CBD store. Fucked up. Went back to the CBD store and got something special. Thirteen dollars for the moon rocks. Yes, sir. CBD keep around it. It ain't real. Hey, this ain't no TAC ball. It's can. It's a uh, CBD. I'm finna uh show y'all what it look like. Bam. $13. Get you out the door. So I'm gonna smoke this and tell y'all what I think. So right now we're gonna break out the uh, Volcano Hybrid. I'll be doing a review on this when I get back from uh, New York. I just wanted to make sure I had it and I had enough uh, knowledge about this before I review it. Cause of course I'm gonna say it's good, you feel me? All right, so you got the volcano. There's the old stuff. I keep it inside of here. So, you know, uh, when I wanna save it for later, you feel me? You can uh, make edibles and shit with this, so like smoke it in a bong. For whenever you ain't got no more weed. Like whenever I run out of weed, this go go in the bong, you feel me? Basically, all right, we're gonna crap open these moon rocks, break one of these holes open. Ooh. Okay, this just crumple up like weed, boy. Oh, yeah, this is worth $13 right here, boy. I'm gonna put that much in there. I ain't fill it up cause this all this keep gonna get burned up too, you feel me? I ain't stupid. It's just CBD. Alright, so whenever you hear, let me see, you so you can see the lights. Whenever you hear the the noise go off, that means it's done. You wanna heat it up to 200 degrees Celsius. I think that's about 392 degrees Fahrenheit. That four, it won't have any um it won't have any of the um It won't have any of the cancers or the toxins or carbon or whatever. It won't have none of that shit in there when you burn it at 200 degrees. And I just thought about it. It's CBD moon rocks, but we got some we got some some regular weed. I'm gonna sprinkle that a little bit of weed, regular weed in there, like like somebody on Cooking Network. Yeah. You feel me? You, we got the CBD, and you want to get mix it up with the regular with the regular weed. And 
and then go and throw it on there. It's gonna be kind of, I don't know what I'm doing right now. It's, <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be a fun time though. We got moon rocks and the and the and the regular weed in there. Yeah, yeah. Let it sit down there for a couple seconds, so it heat up a little bit. All you do, get the bag, make sure it's empty, cause you don't want to have any dead air in there. You feel me? That's that's enough. I'm gonna put it on there. Watch it fill up. That shit gonna be burning quite nicely. Uh huh. That shit loud too. So I'm gonna be high because I put some weed in there. This be a smoking boy. Yeah, hey, Keith boy. Yeah. Woo! This shit smoking, boy. This shit hollering, boy. This shit hollering. I got my second bag. This time it's all CBD. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna talk to y'all about my CBD experience. To me, it calms me down. Now, the thing I don't like about CBD, it don't taste like weed. It tastes like grass or something. It just got a, like a taste to it. I don't know, it's not weed. It's not trash like tobacco. That shit trash. Like, I don't care what you do to tobacco. That shit, ugh. I think it can help you with tobacco. That shit got too many down effects though. That shit dry your whole shit out too. Ugh. That's why I got this uh volcano. Um I used to smoke cigarettes. I didn't smoke cigarettes for too long. Tobacco, black and mouths, uh white owls, I don't smoke them all. But I learned about vaporizing. And you're like, you can have the CBD or TAC pure. No, no kind of other things. And it's like good for you, don't have no cancers. I'm like, hey, gotta go ahead and get it. What's a new way? Dry herb vaporizer. Look it up. So while I was out, I had caught the book bag. I'm gonna let y'all see what that look like. It's from Spray Ground. I've never heard of these cats before. I bought this for $90. They say it goes online for one thirty. I like the materials. You see that shit? It's leather. Yeah. yeah. What? It's leather. It got all these different embroidered, air hardy looking things. But, it's well made if you look on the back. Got a pouch, putting some back there. Usually you wanna put something like comfortable back there for you. You're wearing this a lot. Got a red inside, laptop holder. Any size laptop. Put your stuff in here. You can probably put like um, you can put like some, about three days worth of clothes up in here. Yeah. Uh huh. Only thing I don't like about this is the zippers is real weak, bro. The zippers is like trend the trash. But I feel like the zipper holders are good though, but the zipper itself, look at it. It look trick and trash, but you know, you can't have everything perfect. It, but besides that, I mean, I like the bag. It's, it's swag. I'm gonna put it on for you. It's pretty swag. I'm not carrying, I'm not taking this to New York. I think when I go to, uh, going to the islands for Thanksgiving, I'm gonna rock it for that down there. Yeah, boy. 
This is what it looks like. Yeah. Huh? That's the bar. Huh? You feel me? It's it's a vibe. It's a vibe. But this is going to up until the fall slash winter, cause it's too hot to wear leather. We all know that. So now I'm on Majin's vlog 15. How's things changed for me so far? Well, I've made it where I can record my life and it's pretty entertaining to those who want to see. But I'm getting more entertaining and entertaining. I feel more comfortable. I stopped really caring about taking so many cuts out because that takes away from the quality of it and I need to work on my speaking more than working on editing. So that's why I'm doing that. So when you get these raw videos, just know it's me more trying to tighten my screws than production laziness. So how has the vlog changed my life the past 15 days? Well, hmm, I feel like I have more activities that I can line up for myself because when I go to New York, this is gonna be jam packed. It's gonna be action packed. I hope so anyway. At least it'll be cool. So, yeah, that's cool. I think I wanna name them like New York 1 or something like that and then have up to New York 14, something like that. Then when I go to another city, like when I go to the islands, islands 1 or something like that. You know, uh, day one, something like that. I don't know, think about it. It's so exciting, I got so many moving pieces. I don't know if my GoPro's coming in now or not. <sighs> it still looks like it's coming in from New York. It looks like it's on the way. And if it gets to the facility tonight, I might get it on Friday or Saturday. I might. I really hope I do. If not, I'll be recording everything on the iPad and the iPhone once I get to New York. I'll be there Monday, Monday night. So Tuesday podcast is going. Tuesday vlog is going to be looking like I'll be there. It'll be me touching down, but Monday it's me getting hyped up for it because the shit. By the time that comes out. I'll probably be hopping, dipping. You feel me? That's on a Monday night. So look forward to that.